Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanna to hop on and do a quick unboxing of this bag that I purchased on Poshmark. But before I get started, I do wanna say thank you to those of you who have subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. I put out a lot of videos about contemporary designer handbags like Coach, Michael Kors, Fossil, Longchamp, as well as some luxury items like Gucci and Burberry. And if you end up liking this video, please do give me a thumbs up down below. So like I said, this is a purchase that I just made on Poshmark. Uh, it's a bag that I purchased for $80. Uh, what was surprising to me when I un when I kind of opened the box is that it came in a Michael Kors dust bag, but it is actually a coach unboxing. Uh, and I am pretty excited about this bag. So just kind of pulling all of this packaging aside, it was packaged uh, very well. Um, so it was, you know, nice and protected and it came to me relatively quickly. The handles when they were packaged were not squished, which is really nice. And you can see that this bag is a coach ED bag. Um, it is um, in a black pebbled leather. It's in pretty good shape. I've already unboxed it and I've kind of looked it through before um, turning on the camera because I wanted to kind of know what the status of it was. Um, so pulling off this bubble wrap, that was a nice touch for it to be wrapped like that. The handles are great. It's a nice um, simple black bag that you know will be great as kind of a larger bag for when we are out and I want to carry a little bit more. You can see that you have that coach lining there. That is the Creed. The Creed actually doesn't have an item number on it. The item number is on a white tag somewhere in this bag. The seller did show it to me before I purchased the bag so that I knew what bag it was and knew the item number and everything. Um, I don't know where it is but I do have a picture of it on Poshmark so that I can refer to it when I do find it. Um, so looking at the exterior of the bag, you have your, you know, coach logo there in the raised metal. Uh, one of the things that attracted me to this particular seller is that there's actually still plastic, uh, wrap on some of the hardware. So the hardware here, um, had the plastic wrap, although I don't know if like she just put it back on cause she had it, um, you know, from when, when she bought the bag, it was a little bit hard to close that one handed. Okay. Uh, the bottom does have feet. The feet do have a little bit of wear on them. Um, but that was to be expected. I did think I was going to get that. Um, so, you know, the seller was, I think, relatively open about disclosing these things. Although I will say there's a little bit more wear on this than I expected, but not so much that I want to open a case and return it. It's it's not as bad as the Taylor tote that I unboxed. Um, this hang tag also has the um, plastic wrap on it. So I'm just pulling that off as well because I am going to keep this bag. So yeah, nice and shiny, uh, which is nice. And then you have um, the other hardware here is, of course, these D-rings holding the straps. One thing I did notice about the hardware that might be a little bit hard to tell is that the zipper does have a little bit of discoloration, it looks like. Uh, maybe, like underneath there, or it just was a little scratched. Because in the sunlight, it did look like it was a little bit different of a color. Um, in terms of wear and tear, this bag has these folded corners, so there is a little bit of wear down on these corners. Um, you can see that one's particularly bad. This was not something that was disclosed, so I'm not like super thrilled about it, but it's not so bad that I think it's kind of worth opening a case over. Um, like I said, when I got that Coach Taylor tote a while ago, I think that wear was a lot more dramatic, and that's why I'm not being as upset about this one. So, um, yeah. You know, the inside of the bag is, I think, what everybody knows from an ED. You have your three compartments with the zipped pocket here. If I just open this pocket, the zipper is nice and smooth. Pulling out the stuffing, you have the uh, interior of the bag there. The interior is pretty clean. Um, you did see a little bit of crumbs right there that I just moved aside or lint or something. But when I, like, pulled out this uh, pocket to check, there's no lint, like, trapped in those corners. Um, there's no, uh, like dog hair anywhere or anything like that. Like some of the bags I've gotten on Poshmark, you can see down there, it's pretty clean in those slip pockets. So I am pretty excited about this bag. The bag doesn't have any strong smell or anything. Um, so I do think it's going to be a great little bag for me. The leather is nice and soft and smushy. Um, I do think this is an older bag because it was, um, like I said, you, there was no number on the Creed. So I think that happened in like the 2015s, 2016s. So I don't think this is, um, you know, this is not a, a brand new bag by any means. It's definitely a little bit older, but it doesn't look like it's been that heavily used. So I'm happy about that. Um, just checking out 
you know, some of the glazing on the top looks good. I haven't actually accepted the bag yet from Poshmark, so I do just want to check it over. Um, looking, you know, making sure, because I think one of the things I've seen on Poshmark for Edie's in particular is that the glazing does tend to crack and start to peel off. So I just want to make sure the glazing looks okay, and I think it does. Um, it's a nice big bag, um, but it's not super heavy. I did try it on, and I'm kind of on the fence about it um, in terms of how comfortable it will be because the shoulder strap drop is a little bit short on me, but that was when I had that bubble wrap on there, so I'm going to try it back on after I finish filming and see if it still feels a little bit short, but I still think, you know, like I said, I'm going to keep the bag. Uh, I don't remember if I said how much I paid. There's a little popped thread there, but that's not so bad. I can just snip that off. Um, I paid $65 for this plus tax and shipping, so it was $80 total. Which I think is a pretty fair price for uh, an, an ED bag. This is a retail style as far as I can tell because that lining is does have that coach kind of logo on it. So I do think it is a retail bag. It's not an outlet style. So I do think that $80 is pretty fair for that. And if I don't like the bag, the nice thing is I think if I paid 80 I certainly can sell this bag for 100 and just get my money back. So I'm not too worried about that. So yeah. That was my quick unboxing. Uh, I'm going to go in and rate the seller, give her a good rating, but otherwise I will see you guys next time. Bye.